I almost died this weekend. <laughs> you almost died this weekend? I almost died this How'd weekend. How'd you almost die this weekend? <laughs> because I was in Florida. Uh-huh. Is that just the end of the sentence? Do you need elaboration? Yeah, all right. You almost died this weekend. <laughs> I was in Florida, and I uh, definitely saw him. Oh, you saw him? I was expecting to see him at some point. Did you see him, like, right away? It wasn't right away. Okay. I had enough. I had two days of wondering where he would be. Yeah. And I thought that the fact that I would be more or less contained to a small hotel strip area. You'd be like, they don't let, they don't let him in. It's a pretty... The chances are low if you stand still. Yeah, if you stand still, they can't see they you. They can't see you. So you expect, okay, Florida man's just going to walk on, but, but nope. No. There he was. He was there. It's three in the morning. Mm -hmm. I was heading out to Walgreens. That's where, yeah, yeah. You know, you're saying the Florida man trigger words. I am, I am. <laughs> heading out to Walgreens. It was three in the morning, three forty-two actually. Yeah. Uh, I was coming back from the venue. Played some nice long, good old, good ass games of Sam Show. That's correct. And uh, I wanted to get me some stuff for the next morning. Mm -hmm. So uh, on the way over, I, there he was, standing in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. There was no one else around. Having a good, was he having a good time? He was having a time. Okay, he was having a time. He was very emotional, but I couldn't tell what he was feeling. Mm. And uh, he was definitely talking loudly to someone not on his headset. To his friend. There was no headset, you know. So there he was. He was talking to Florida. Talking, talking to Florida. Yes. Right? It, he is the man. The spirit of Florida. The, the man of Florida. Was channeling. Yes. And, uh, you know, I walked into the Walgreens. I bought my stuff. I had a nice conversation with the cashier and walked out. And he locked eyes upon walking out. Um, I made a hard 90 degree turn. Did he see your soul in that moment? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he saw something. Yeah. But either way, I'm like, I'm just going to. I'm just going to not. I'm just, I'm just hitting, I'm just sticking to the sidewalk right yeah, now. Yeah, this is a good sidewalk. You know, uh, the aggro zone, yeah. I feels was the actual lot itself. Mm -hmm. So as long as you're on the sidewalk part attached to the so store. So a lot of enemies will aggro you from sight, but that's only the initial acquisition. They won't actually aggro you unless you get within like a, like a perimeter. Yeah, no, Florida Mal's. Florida man is more like a lino. Okay. Uh, he'll see you and he'll stop. Yeah. And take notice. Yes. But the next actions are on you. Yeah. You have to get within that that barrier. What you invisible zone. What you choose to do from here. Now that I've acknowledged you. Now that the speaking has stopped. Yes. And I've locked onto you. Mm -hmm. What you choose to do from here determines the rest of the encounter. See, I'll be real. I've I've you know I've encountered uh, uh, Florida man uh, variants regional florida man variants around here and there's always to me that expansion part, team that part is always the worst part because it's i don't want to walk towards the 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 the, the florida man uh regional i want to walk away however walking away means that i can't see them anymore there's that which it sucks shit if it's late at night. Notice that I didn't say I did a 180. You said a 90. Exactly. You know what's at 90 degrees? Your peripheral vision. That's right. For a bit anyway. Well, and then and then you hit the corner and you're yeah. good. And then you just run. Well, no. But um, that, so that was there, you know. And uh, yeah, like I said, it's like if you have somebody that's walking in the art and and, and chanting and talking and doing their thing having a good time right they're locked in mm -hmm. right but when that stops because they notice you yeah that's the problem yeah that's, that's the bad it's, i am i am very glad to let you continue whatever important task you were doing sir yeah yeah so um so there he was you know that was that uh there's something else i noticed about america and it's something that i've noticed a while ago but it wasn't until this time that I actually mentally took note that I'm like, I'm going to bring this up All right. on the podcast because I don't know if it's All right, America, me. you guys ready? Yeah. This is one of those things where I'm like, maybe maybe I'm just naive. Maybe I'm just super Canadian. Uh -huh. um, who knows? But I wanted to throw it out there and see if anybody knows what this is about. All right, America, what's the deal with... 
every single time I've been in a state that is more southern area. Uh, no, say below Mason Dixie, I guess. I, I mean, not below New York State. Anyway, <laughs> sure. Like, yeah. I feel like if I've ever been out late at that point, yeah, there is 100% of the time a car in a parking lot that is otherwise empty and the car is on and no one knows what's going on. That is really bizarre. Very. But it's also very not if you go, well, let's assume what that could be. If it's just someone sleeping in their car, then why would the keys be in the ignition? That why doesn't would make it be any sense. On? You'd be wasting your batteries. That doesn't yeah. make any sense. It's like, okay, well then, uh, is it a kid just like smoking up because it's not legal here and they don't want to get caught by their parents? Possibly. That makes that could be possible, right? Mm-hmm. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, it could be someone just looking for a hookup and finding a, you know, a street worker to do that with but then you'd expect some car rocking of some kind oh, man. you know so, i'm seeing i'm seeing two answers yeah repeated so ad it's nauseum. very it's very it's very much likely that it's just like no we're that's where you get your drugs going right or the drugs were there and then they went around a side corner and perhaps needed a car ready to go perhaps you know i also saw cop entrapment scheme I mean, certainly, the co- but cops walk up to those windows and go, hey, what's going on in oh, here? Oh, well, I mean, it's not a scheme then. Because that's pretty much what you well, always hear and really see about. That's a really good scheme. Yeah, like, that, that is a bait for a cop to walk up and knock on the window and go, what are you doing? Yeah. Right? But otherwise, it's like, lights on. Lights on. Car in the ignition, key in the ignition, sitting, idling, in the parking lot, alone. Super 3, 4 in the morning. You know? Um, not something that... I see here very often. Not I don't believe never. I've ever seen that here ever. I've seen it, but it's not n- enough to be notable. Whereas here, it's been every single time, you know. And I'm just kind of like, I I don't know what to make of that. And I guess I never will know. Yeah. So we got two answers. One is just drugs repeated ad nauseum, and the other is bait car. Bait car. Yeah. Right. If you open that door and try to drive it away. Hmm. Wee woo, wee woo. Hey, what are you doing with that car? That's not your car. <laughs> bait car. That sounds absurd. What? You don't know about bait car? That was a TV show <laughs> at, at, for a time. <laughs> but uh, the idea of... Uh, you ever heard about bait drugs? But you got like, the cops, but they, got the, they got the heroines on like a fishing line. Not that and it, they roll it down the, down, the, down the sidewalk. I mean, it does, it's not that it has to make sense, but it's like, even if it is just like, okay, yo, that's where you fucking shoot up, snort up, do what you gotta do. Yeah. It's like, but you're the only car with the lights on sitting in a parking lot Listen, right now. Man, I'm you're gonna just, so, I'm, so not inconspicuous. I'm just gonna say that the hardcore users and or sellers of hardcore drugs may not be possessing of all of their logical faculties at all times. Certainly. Sometimes home is really far. And sometimes you just got to pull over and get it get it done. You know? I, I, I'm trying to imagine that's probably what's up. Sometimes but, you just need to have a kilo of nose candy. But but is it is that is that just one hundred percent it and that's it? That appears to be the case. Well, it happens every time. Well, and people are having a good time in the areas that you happen to be frequenting. They should probably turn the keys off. It would it just it would you know you're idling gas right? It like, doesn't it just doesn't make any yeah, sense. Yeah, well, like gotta get, gotta be just, ready to drive away from the from the police in an empty parking lot. Gotta be ready. Yeah. So, anyway, um, that's that's what's up. That's, that's yet again. Up. Hey, America, what's up with you guys? You're weird. Why you do that? Why you got so weird? Just, just turn the keys. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, that's a thing, and I don't know. I mean, I guess like perhaps, like I said, maybe just sheltered, maybe just. Canadian. Oh my God! I just saw a real answer. What? You need the light for the needle. <laughs> but you can turn the light inside the car on without the light uh outside the headlights being on woolly also also i this is no no this is not at the 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 inside of the car i I can't see into the car oh well that's even more confusing no i could never see maybe they're walking out in front of the car to do the needle in front of the head yeah yeah yeah. no no no. i'm not talking like if i could see into the car while i'm walking by you'd be like oh oh well that's what's up right someone's just in there doing whatever No, no, no 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 it's dark inside the car but the the headlights are on. Yeah. So 
the car's on, but yeah. there's no there's no interior light on. Possible haunting. You know? So, yeah, I don't know. You tell me. Um, also, Walgreens. What a silly name for a pharmacy. Slash CVS. grocery store. Yeah. Dwayne Reed. You know, it reminds me, every time I go down to the States and I walk into a Walgreens or a CVS, I always feel like I'm in some kind of weird off-brand country. It's weird. Like, it was really, really, really bad when we were in Austin, uh, in Texas, because I was walking around, and I'm like, this looks like a silly TV show. This looks like a fake-ass TV show location where Law & Order Man's gonna walk down the street and be like, ah, that guy, you know, like, it fit, like, because sort of. because things are shot in the United States, yeah. it looks like TV, and thus, when I'm in these locations, I go, this place is fake. I, I I don't get that as much because I've I've been to too much America. But yeah. Also, I'm stupid. I mean, what do you like? Yeah, I've I've seen too much America to to think that. But occasionally, you see a building or two where you're like, oh, that looks like the courthouse from the moment that from that thing happened. Yeah, that's when the old lady shoots the guy in Shaft. That was sick. And then everyone's like, yeah. damn, old lady. Fair enough. 